Hey, what's going on out there? Hey, so I get this question a lot. Hey, Manny, what do you think about and what's your opinions on leasing on the big lease on companies like Landstar? Hey, so today hey, I'm going to just share my thoughts on leasing on to a big lease on company like Landstar. Like I say, it's just my opinions. Key word, opinions. <laughs> hey, so real quick, big shout out to that u.s army out there hey i salute each and every one of you veterans serving on active duty right now or if you are retired or if you have separated honorably i salute all you guys out there man I'm trying to tell you if i could give you one piece of advice if you're still in the military right now or if you got out man tap into that leadership that you learned tapped into that marksmanship if you guys were snipers sharp shooters tap into it you know and i ain't saying go out here and act like you're on the battlefield and start shooting <laughs> shooting people i'm talking about tap into that and translate that into your personal life i tapped into it i translated it into my business life now that dedication motivation you know learning every day leading so, like I tell you guys out there, man, I was an officer in the Army leading over 40 plus troops on a day to day base. One man leading over 40 plus people every day at the age of 28 years old. So, I've tapped into it. Hey, let's roll off into this content for today. Hey, so this video is not intended to discredit Landstar or to devalue them or to bash them, you know? Uh, I just get this question a lot about, should I lease on the Landstar? So I just was like, okay, instead of replying back to multiple emails about the same question, what I'll do is just make a quick video. So like I say, I respect Landstar just because I respect the businessman. I respect anyone out here that's a business owner making money and that's out here hustling and grinding. So like I say, this is not to discredit Landstar, but I just wanna let you guys know my opinions on leasing on to a company that charges a certain percentage. So for me, it's easy. You know, you guys, if you have been following my channel, you know that I did an actual video. It was lease on versus going to go get your own authority. If you haven't, go check that video out. So uh, like I told you guys in that video, it's all about uh, personal preference. It's all about what is going to make your life uh, run smoother and what's going to be convenient. Some of you uh, truckers out there, you don't want to go get your own uh, authority. You want to lease on to a company for the convenience. And that's fine, you know, because how much money I need to make every month might not be the same, you know, for the next person. You know, maybe someone needs to make $2,500 a month after their expenses and maybe the next person need to make $25,000 a month after expenses you know so uh, it's just all about personal preference so for me it's simple uh, I know a gentleman right now that's leased on the Landstar and he runs a hot shot Landstar charges uh, that uh, individual 30% I believe hot shots are 30% uh, of the revenue and semi trucks are like 35 percent and like i say some of you guys out there that's leased on the landstar right now uh leave a comment below you know let me know if that's accurate if uh landstar is charging 30 percent for hot shots and 35 percent for semi trucks so for me you know it's not really i don't really have to get real analytical when it comes to leasing on the landstar because like you know the saying goes numbers don't lie so if you are making $20,000 in revenue in a month, every hot shot truck, every semi truck, in my personal opinion, should be making at least $5,000 in revenue every week or even more. You know, of course you wanna make more, but I feel that every hot shot truck and every semi truck should be, you know, at least grossing $5,000 a week in revenue. So if you're going to make $5,000 a week in revenue and if you're running three, four weeks at a time, now you're at $20,000 in revenue. So 
thirty percent of six i mean of twenty thousand dollars is six thousand dollars that you have to pay off top to land start a lease on to that company and if you're a semi truck and you're paying 35 and you're getting uh charged 35 percent of your weekly uh, of your monthly revenue that's seven thousand dollars so you're paying almost 50 percent of what that truck is making so for me like I say, I don't have to get real analytical on the numbers. I mean, six thousand dollars for a hot shot if you make twenty thousand dollars in the month is a hefty fee that you could be putting that back into your pocket or go lease on to another company that charges you a smaller percentage. Same thing when it comes to semi trucks out there. If you guys are leased on to Landstar and you're paying thirty five uh, get, being charged 35% and you're making that $20,000 or more, hey, you're giving Landstar $7,000 uh, a month easily. $7,000 that could potentially be in your pocket if you go get your own authority or you could see at least another 50% of that money if you go lease on to someone that charges you 15%. Or, you know, so like I say, for me, I don't have to get analytical on this situation right now just because I'm just going off the numbers. And right there, I mean, in my world, of course, that's a hefty fee. You know, I would rather see that six, seven thousand dollars every month put into my bank account, or I would rather see at least a little bit more of that six or seven thousand dollars. So at the end of the day, it's all about, you know. Uh, how much money you need to make um, if 30% is a little bit too hefty for you you know you got to figure it out go get your own authority or go find someone else that you could lease on to for a smaller percentage also I believe Landstar even uh, they don't offer a, uh, to dispatch you. dispatching is not included in that 30% um, and that 35% correct me if I'm wrong comment below but from a friend Landstar have their own load board and you have to actually get on that load board and book load yourself So it's like you're running under your it's like running under your own authority anyway and dispatching yourself That's how I look at it. So uh, for me, I'm all about saving money and if I'm able to uh, Put out these quick videos just to give you guys my thoughts my opinions open up conversation uh, That's what I'm going to do. So uh, I'm pretty sure Landstar might offer some other type of incentives out there, but honestly, for me, I could care less about those incentives. I need my money, and I want to make uh, as much money as possible off of the loads that I run. So I don't care about any other incentives out there. I'm just looking at the numbers. Hey, what do you guys think out there? Do you think that uh, paying 30%, 35% is a hefty fee? Um, you're already at almost 50% of the money that you're making. So how I see it is, if you guys watched my video the other day ago, I said that uh, a lot of you guys are signing 360 deals. If you don't know what a 360 deal is, go watch one of my previous videos when I uh, describe what a 360 deal is in this rap world. Uh, maybe some of you guys out there that's leasing on to these companies that's charging that hefty percentage is signing 360 deals. Uh, think about it. Hey, let me know. Comment below. Let me know what you think out there. Hey, CEO, commit, execute, and be obsessed. Anyone looking to get a 30-day free trial with DAT, click the link below in the description box. Go get you 30-day free trial. Looking for a factoring service. Hey, go click the link below. Go sign up with Trans Am Financial. Go sign up with TAFs. Hey, everybody be great out there.